Hello everybody, again, Happy New Year. This is January of 2021, and I hope that the first few weeks of the new year have been a good one for all of you. Um, I wanted to uh, continue on some of the explanations of classical um, Ryukyu songs and lyrics and poetry, because um, I think uh, for those of us who are uh, um, learners and aficionados of uh, classical UQ music, um, it's important to know certain elements about the music, not only historically, but of course, in terms of the meanings of the music, the meanings of the songs, the lyrics, things like that. So uh, the next song, the song I'm doing this week is called Unnabushi. Um, Unna or Onna is a region in uh, the middle part of uh, Okinawa Island and uh, it's right above Yomitang, Chatang area. And you pass through uh, Onna before you go towards the north uh, as you're entering uh, into Nago and uh, that northern area. Uh, nowadays, uh, Onna is rather well known because we have quite a few uh, luxury hotels there. In fact, um, in 2000, uh, the year 2000, I believe, they had the G8 summit there. And so you have a lot of beautiful hotels over there that line the, um, the, the shoreline. And so uh, today's song is about that particular area. Although uh, hundreds of years ago, Onna, or Unna, as it was known back then, uh, was a beautiful farming village. It had wonderful uh, nature. It was along the beach line, like I said. And uh, Unna was known for a beautiful, very large pine tree uh, that was there. So today I'm going to sing Unna Bushi. And uh, the lyrics to Unna Bushi are this. Again, last time we talked about Ryukyu poetry or Ryuka. And it has four lines and it's eight syllables, eight syllables, eight syllables, six syllables. So the poem for today's song is Unna machi shita ni chijinu fuenu tachushi kui shinobu madinu chijiya nesami. So basically, what the song means is under the beautiful pine tree in Onna that everybody knows about, there is a sign uh, that that prohibiting uh, singing and music prohibiting us basically from enjoying ourselves and having fun. Um, basically, we're not going to listen to that song because you can't stop us from singing and playing music and being happy. That's a very loose translation of that particular song. Uh, the reason why uh, these words came about was because um, in the 16 and 1700s, uh, it was a time when uh, Shuri, the kingdom of Ryukyu, was uh, being heavily, um, uh, I, should, I shouldn't say heavily, was being strongly um, encouraged to, um, I guess, pay tribute to some of the surrounding countries, um, including Japan, and as a way to kind of curtail some of the uh, culture uh, that gave people an identity and, and of course everybody has different interpretations This is kind of my interpretation of what I was taught um, At that time in the 16 and 1700s there was uh, a limiting of some of the um, Culture that was being expressed by the people at the time. So um, This beautiful pine tree in Onna was a gathering place where people uh, enjoyed an activity called Moashibi. So after you do your work during the, the hot day, everyone at night gathered and as a stress relief, they you know played music, they sang together. It was also places where a time where people met with each other. And what the government was doing was basically trying to curtail this practice. And so this poem is a reaction to that particular um, action that the government was taking. So today I'm gonna to play for you Onnabushi. 